Anyway, he tells a story that I think is actually um, relevant to this idea of illumination. And it actually takes place, he says, in an African tribe. And there was a particular tribe in Africa where when a couple become pregnant, and they know the woman is now going to conceive at some point, uh, people in the village gather around and they, they do this practice that they start to s create a song that will be the song for this child when this child is born. Now, the child's not here yet, but intuitively they create this song that is essentially, uh, and th these are my words, not Jack's, that is essentially recognizing uh, the illumined presence within this being that is about to be born. And so then when the mother goes into labor, the people in the village gather and they sing this child's song as a welcome of this child coming into earth, uh, coming, coming on, onto the earth. And then throughout that child's life, when that child might be sick, the people gather around and sing this child's song so that the child will remember a, what we would say in Science of Mind is a greater truth about themselves. And then on and on through life, when that child uh, gets married, they sing that song. And when that child is having children, they sing that song. And when years later that child is old and is going to die, people gather around and they keep singing this individual's own unique song that was created for them. Now, I know not all of us here can write a song or want to write a song. So my invitation to us today is I want you to think about what's your song? What's the song that you would sing that reminds you of the greatest truth within yourself? Or it might be the song that makes you feel the most empowered.